Hi, Smart Home Sunday, my name's Paul, and today I'm gonna to show you how these Ruby tags perform at different heights in the room. I, I talked about this last week and I got a few questions in the comments below already asking, Paul, what's the difference? So let me show you the room layout to begin with. So here is where the first sensor is. It's on top of the piano, and that one's Ruby one. Mm -hmm. Then I have another one up sitting on the top of this light. Now, I am aware this one could be affected by the bulb in that light fixture. It could be warming things up a bit. And then the last one, uh, yes, this one is attached to a light up near the staircase, but that light's never turned on. I, I just, it's there in case you need it, but it just doesn't get turned on. So those three locations at piano height, so it's kind of about a belly button height, and then just above head on top of that light, and then up on the ceiling. So let me show you what it looks like. Here's the view and the live readings from those three sensors right now. So the one on the piano, we're at 17.4, one on top of the light, 19.1, and then the one on the ceiling, 18.7 you can see there's quite a difference there now I am thinking the 19 uh, number two we probably should ignore those readings because as I say I think that that light is just getting hot now it is actually one of these the uh, Philips Hue smart lamps so it doesn't shouldn't get that hot but it does it does it does even though it's an LED it gets Bit hot so let's ignore number two so just one and three belly button height ceiling height there is a clear difference and yes at the moment you can see it's well nearly one and a half degree difference so you could just live around the top of the ceiling and stay a little bit warmer uh, humidity, that's really surprising as well, because you can see here on number one, we're at around 48% humidity, but then down at 42 and a half at the ceiling, I am really quite shocked. I know that as temperature increases, you expect some difference to happen with humidity, but normally uh, I, you would expect that the humidity actually rises. I would have thought so because, but anyway, maybe not. Although I suppose if the humidity is the same, temperature rises, uh, this isn't the video to get the scientific breakdown of how temperature and humidity works, but this is where you're going to see some charts. Here we go, let's have a look here. This is a dashboard I made earlier. Let's try and make it a bit bigger. Ruby temperatures, let's bring it full screen. Uh, actually, I need to change that to the last two days. Here we go, lots of data. So the, oh, I need to change the order of that. Let's make it according to sensor name. So we can forget the purple. The purple is the Ruby 2. Let's just, just forget about that. But if you have a look at the others, the Ruby 1 and Ruby 3, so clearly the Ruby 3 is always consistently higher by around about at least, well, nearly 2 degrees sometimes, but at least one and a half, two 2 degrees. And then humidity there is a consistent difference as well. Yes. So what am I gonna do with this? Well, the interesting thing is, do I really wanna know what the temperature is at the ceiling? Now the ceiling is a good place to mount a sensor, but I do probably wanna have an idea of what the temperature of the room is, you know, at around about head height or body torso height. That's kind of where I live. And so what I'm thinking of doing is in Home Assistant, adding an offset. So I'll go ahead and mount permanently one of these sensors on the ceiling, but then I can set an offset 
so that when you look in Home Assistant, you'll see the temperature at living height. So if I see an average of 1.5 degrees warmer on the ceiling to the rest of the living space, then I'll just put an offset of 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's the reason. I think I'm just going to have to think about maybe moving the sensors around a little bit in the room uh, again on the ceiling and another one maybe well I've got two more here do I need to put them around the room as well I think I will let's let's get five sensors all at once in the one room at different heights different corners let's see how that looks all right yeah more on the way next week bye